A group of college students investigated on the consequences of online chat sites by creating fake profiles and pretending to be minors. Talking to multiple men online, they discovered various symptoms that triggered these men to essentially become sexual predators. The initial trigger is the profile picture of the female, prompting them to start a conversation. The men would say hi and introduce themselves. They would then ask questions such as, What are you doing? Are you bored? And are you alone? As the conversation progresses, they become more crude and sexually suggestive by inserting innuendos, making their intentions known that they wanted to be more than just friends. I decided to sign up for a dating website because I was just bored, really. I was kind of lonely and I didn't have a lot of friends in school and I wanted to expand my social circle. They were all very harmless. Mostly I was just messing with most of them, being sarcastic and making jokes. But something happened when I met this guy. He suggested that we met up so we could hang out. I thought I trusted him. We met at a cafe because he knew that I love coffee. He was friendly, no weird vibe. He was very casual. He made me feel very comfortable. Just like how we talk to each other online. It was comfortable, which was really surprising. And we were about to leave that something happened. He offered to bring me home which I thought was kind of sweet, but I declined, which he didn't take too well. He told me he really liked me and just wanted to make sure I got home safely, but I still refused, which made him angrier. So that's when he became really aggressive. He started grabbing my arms and shaking me. I was very scared at this point. We were at the back lot of the cafe where I was waiting for my cab so nobody could see us, could see what he was doing to me. So I was struggling to break free from his hold. Luckily, my cab arriving surprised him enough for me to push him away. After that, I just went home. But as for him, he continued to message me aggressively. The advent of uh, the high technology, the uh, technology in the 20th century has revolutionized the standard of human socialization. But nowadays there is a platform for them to socialize without being seen. These uh, people who engage themselves to social networking, uh, they are more attracted to this because of the hidden identity. It is an advantage, you know, all the more these uh, sexual predators, uh, they can easily, easily get their victims because of this platform, all right? These platforms are more enticing for those people who've got psychological issues like depression, anxiety, even in the, you know, a simplest uh, psychological issue like uh, uh, low self-esteem. Right, this platform is uh, a very attracting platform for them to engage themselves by creating a, you know, an identity that they want to be all right, without exposing themselves. And, and on the process of talking about their problems, someone are listening, giving them uh, uh, time, giving them the, the care, the advices, and then they, they, they fall into it. So these predators are luring actually the victims, you know, taking advantage of their sensitivities due to their psychological or any personal problems. Most of the victims, they are showing a lot of traumas actually yeah, from this experience. So it is normal for them to react negatively in any future relationship. most of the aggressor all right they came from aggressive environment as well all right most of the ag sexual aggressor or offenders uh, in one point in their lives they were victims of sexual aggression themselves as well
This initiative was created to protect victims of online sexual assault through a virtual experiment. After noticing certain symptoms that pointed to the issue of cybercrime, the ProDrums initiative pursued the subject to hopefully put a stop to this phenomenon.